Hi guys, it's Elena and I'm enchanted for you to be here on my channel. Today we are doing the parts two, the part, the part two of my healthy habits planning and I'll be kind of going over what my steps are for the next 30 days and kind of what healthy habits I'm going to be working towards for the next 30 days. I think I said that already, but yes, pretty much so. So previously I worked on making sure I drink enough water, staying at a scheduled like eating time, and looking up recipes. The first two I have been fairly good at continuously since I did the planning video. I did well with that since I did kind of like the review video of how those habits affected me. I'll link them down below in the description so you can check them out. And right now I'm going to continue on with the next parts. I'm going to have my little notebook in front of me, so give me a moment before I find all the things that I wanted to talk about, and let's go from that. So as before I've said, I don't want to overwhelm myself with these new habits, and I don't want to do anything too drastic or too crazy. So I'll be working on little sections of habits, like working on three or four habits at a time and I'll be keeping up the habits that I've worked on previously. So it's gonna be built upon that. I think I've mentioned that before. In any case, with the start of this habits part two planning situation, I'll be working on just three more habits. Meal planning, logging all my meals and their calories, not counting calories and restricting myself on calories, but just logging the things that I eat and keeping track of what I eat and when I eat it and how I eat it, kind of, sort of, that type of thing. I've been on and off doing that a little bit just to kind of practice, I suppose, <laughs> until the time of this video, but I'll be a lot more stricter on it and log every meal that I eat and try not to focus on like the calories and what exactly I'm eating just to just to pretty much track it. Is that is is that am I getting my point across? I hope I am. I think I am. The third part of this healthy habits thing is to not go out to eat as often as I have done and maybe just restrict the going out to eat for like social occasions, friends hang out, a date or something like that, not just out of the blue. I'll try on that. That might be my most difficult one to overcome. Let's go a little bit into why I want to go in into these habits and why I want to work on these three specifically and why I think they're going to be benefiting me and helping me out. Um, I don't know your life, what you're going through, how things work out for you but I feel this is gonna be an improvement of my habits and my health and my daily life, pretty much. Um, the first part, meal planning, I'd say the number one reason as to why to do meal planning and to, and to stick to meal planning is save money. You save a lot of money when you cook your own food and not, um, not go out to eat as often so i suppose one and three kind of play in together on the whole saving money aspect but yeah another part is a lot less wasting food so i want to be able to buy the groceries stick to the groceries make sure i have those meals set up and not waste as much groceries i've been doing fairly well on not wasting the groceries i really really dislike to we have sometimes these like vegetable soup days where I take all the vegetables <laughs> in the fridge, blend them up, and make um, a chicken broth based vegetable soup. It's really good. But um, so I'm very against wasting food, and meal planning will improve it even further. Um, another thing is that I'll know all the ingredients that are going into my foods. So if I'm meal planning and preparing my own lunches and cooking my own food, I know exactly what's going in. I know how much salt is going in, how much oils are going in, what kind of vegetables are being used, what kind of products are being used, and that type of thing. Another one is going to be my choice of meals, which I suppose when you go out to eat, it's still your choice of meals, but 
there, there's a little bit of a difference, I would think, of going out and ordering a burger versus making a burger at home. You still get burger and you still get delicious burger, although I'd say the home burgers usually taste a bit better. But the ingredients are a lot better quality versus than in the store. I mean, even if you go into like the most fanciest burger place ever, cooking at home, making your own burger is a lot of a like a lot more healthier of an option versus going out to eat. Well, at least that's just my opinion. I'm not sure how many types of restaurants are there that I don't know. It's just my opinion, I suppose. I don't know where I was going with that thought. And um, less of what do you want to have for dinner, me and my husband. That's like a continuous conversation. What do you want to eat? Mm -mm. What do you want to eat? Mm -mm. What do you want to eat? So <laughs> when, I ha when I'll have my meal plan situation, it'll be less of like, what do you want to eat? And more of like, oh, this is what we're having for dinner that type of thing. So hopefully those the, the, the procrastination of what do you want to eat is gonna <laughs> go down to a minimum. <laughs> Another reason for cooking the foods at home will be more of like a connection with your food, more of an energy of yourself putting into your food so you'd be able to feel satisfied a little bit more with the food you eat, the food you're making, and I feel that food and your energy, your emotions go hand in hand like crazy. If you're cooking on a good day, food usually turns out to be delicious. If you're cooking on a bad and sad and mad day, food doesn't come out as great. At least for me, when I cook and I do stuff, um, comment down below if you've experienced things like that before where your emotions really affect the outcome of your food. And I would say that would be the item one of the part two planning thing. I need to come up with better names for this. And item two, um, logging all my meals, including the calories, but not counting the calories and not restricting myself. I'd say it would give me more awareness of what I eat and how I eat and how much I eat. So it's just going to be more of in touch of what I'll, what I'm putting into my body pretty much. Another reason for logging all my meals is to see how how much calories I'm eating at the moment and I won't be like restricting or reducing anything I'll just be continuing on eating my normal way and just to see what I'm at now and which foods satisfy me more which foods I enjoy eating which foods I repeat eating um, seeing the nutritional values of all these foods and to see which meals I like the most, pretty much, or which, which vegetables I like the most, or what's the easiest to cook and most satisfying to eat. I suppose that would be a good one. And item three on this part two planning, I definitely need to come up with better names, I don't know, is again, like I said before, part section one and like section three are very high on saving money and another thing that it has in common is that I'll be knowing my ingredients and like I've said before about the whole burger situation burger at a restaurant versus cooking burger at home you pretty much know exactly what you're getting into your burger versus at a restaurant and I'm not like speaking ill of any restaurants but yeah take from that what you will <laughs> um, Another thing is cooking at home, there will be a lot less processed foods and a lot less, um, I would say, flavor enhanced foods. And what I mean by that is like extra salt added, extra sugars added just to make the foods taste better. So it'll be more of natural ingredients, more of kind of home cooked products type of thing, if that makes any sense. And limiting the going out to eat for only like social occasions or dates will kind of make it more special rather than just going out to eat i suppose so this is my plan for the next 30 days i'd say follow me on instagram because i'll be i'll try to post all my meals to my stories it might not be the prettiest meals 
but it'll kind of give you an insight of what I'm having on a day-to-day -day basis and let me know down below if you want me to do a video specifically dedicated to how I'm meal planning and what exactly I'm meal planning and how I pack my lunches and all that that shebang so I don't think I can go much in depth into with it with this video but I can definitely make a separate video of kind of just focusing on the foods that I eat I don't know that's a thought and let's see so the tools that I'll be using to help me succeed I suppose on my mission of healthy habits yeah my mission of healthy habits I think that might be that might be a better title for item one the meal planning I have this wonderful little insert into my planner let me zoom in on that so you can see it so it has the dates and on the back it has like a grocery list type of thing and it pops right into my happy planner so I'm able to pretty much see it each time I open up the daily pages and I can write down and make a plan with what I'll be having for the meals and then on the grander scale of things I have this oh boy give me a second I have this big magnetic calendar that goes onto onto our fridge and it has the days on it it has all like the instructions on it so that will be more to remind myself i suppose of what we'll be eating and if my husband's cooking so you'll kind of know what we're having for dinner for lunch for breakfast that type of thing and that is for Oh, another thing is I'll be using my um, Imperfect Foods delivery subscription and specifically why I'll be using that one versus the Misfits Market is because I'm able to log in before the delivery dates and see what I'll be getting delivered and I can swap things out, change things around, add extra things if I need it. So that'll go really good hand in hand with the meal planning and preparing for the week, I suppose. Um, item two is logging on meals. My main tool that I'll be using is this nifty, wonderful device, my phone. And what I'll be using through this phone is to set alarms and reminders to log and input my foods and my meals and that type of thing. And I also have Google Home. I'll set reminders on her to yell at me, <laughs> to input my meals and log my foods and that type of thing. And another part is that I use the Samsung Health app, which has kind of like a great technology for logging all your meals and it gives the nutritional values of it, information on kind of what nutrients you should be eating. You can set it up where it kind of calculates your activity level, your height, your weight, your BMI type of thing and it kind of coaches you through how much and what you should be eating. So they have like a great app, great technology to help you out with that. That's going to be for my sections two, logging on my meals. And part three, I don't really have tools for it because there's really nothing that I can use to prevent myself from going out to eat other than my own conscious and my own myself pretty much. <laughs> but I'm just going to try to budget out, not like budget out financially, but budget out like going out to eat. Let's say we can only go out to eat once this week or twice this week and that type of thing and be really strategic into where I place those going out to eats and if I use them up that's it don't go out to eat anymore that's the plan hopefully that's gonna work maybe fingers crossed I would say that's pretty much my planning my intent and hope that I can do it and I say definitely subscribe to my channel so you can get updates and see the next video when the results for the part two are gonna come up and that's gonna be in about 30 days and as I've said before follow me on Instagram or snapchat where I'll be posting stories of my food and what I'll be having kind of sort of if you're interested in that thing I mean it's all up to you I'm just sharing this out into the world to give myself responsibility and 
holding myself accountable for the promises that I have made. So let's hope that I post this video and upkeep my promises. Fingers crossed, right? That's the plan. <laughs> okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in 30 days with my results of this planning healthy habits part two. Bye.